the video demonstration on the Vico Deck Tech 150 Stylus Profiler. The unit runs with the Windows XP operating system. The unit will come with the Stylus Exchange tool. This is how you will change the stylus in and out of the system. And it will also come with the three standards that you purchased. Uh, this is a 1 micron to calibrate the lower range, uh, 5 micron for the middle range, and a 10 micron for the next range, the 524 range. Uh, so this is the screen it will boot up to, and you just have to go into Deck Tech version 9 software. It will initialize. I'm running the system without the environmental shield so you can see the operation. So once the system's initialized, um, it's basically ready to use. Uh, so you place your sample on the stage underneath the stylus, and then you could come here and do a touchdown. Now this is the image on the screen, and you could use these buttons to position the stylus wherever you want to measure. Um, so this icon here is used for setting up a, a scan routines, and then this icon here is set up to use a, a scan automated program. Uh, I have pre-programmed An automation program the test program and this would be after you set up all your locations uh, for example we'll go in here You could, after you position it and you know use current location for each of your uh, spots, then you could do an automated uh, run. So that's what we'll do now. We're going to run automated program. Now the first. Uh, Standard there is 88 nanometers. This unit has the uh, optional XY uh, motor controlled stage. So the second standard is going to measure 7.858 microns.
Computer standard is 23.772. So once it's done performing the scan, you can come to plot, and after you set your cursors up, you can, you can level the plot. Now if you had a sample with noise, you can use this filter here, and what it does is averages the height between the filter. You can also go to setup configuration and the password is uh, deck tech 32. Go to units and you can change your units from angstroms to microns which would match the standard. As you can see here, it's 23.8194 is the measurement. So this was an example of an automated uh, program. As I said before, you can run single programs, uh, single scan routines. Um, And to do that, you would just position the wafer, um, your sample, wherever you would like to measure it, with the crosshair. And you can update this. And then you could just say scan here, and it would perform a scan at that location. This is where you set up the individual programs. If you go in here, you can choose any of these uh, tests, and it will automatically calculate that when the scan is completed. So this system also has 3D mapping option. And I ran, uh, it's a long test, so I ran the scan previously. But after you do a 3D map, you would go back into the start screen and open the vision software. And once the vision software is open, you'd go to file and then open stored data set. And then this was where I saved uh, that data set. So this is a 2D profile. You can also go to 3D interactive. And then as you move it, move it around, you can see the different parts of the image. So this will complete the video demonstration of DeckTech 150.